I wanted to share this uh, partially just to show off the progress that I've got with the uh, grammar and the theme that I've been developing, but also just to you know even further show uh, how I really wasn't just bashing or talking out my ass. That it's I said this should be better because it can be quite a bit better. So without even bringing up the scope inspector, you can see that. You know, like types are correctly identified, which is good. That's what you want to see. Uh, I did pick this file specifically, uh, although there are a few others that this would happen with, just to show that this is still a work in progress. I have uploaded this to the Visual Studio Code Marketplace, but it's still a beta. It's just working good enough that I feel comfortable releasing this, but also keep in mind that I want feedback about the things that don't work because you can clearly see this isn't labeled at all but it should be so uh, you know if we bring up the scope inspector then you can see that there is a level of depth going on here like this is a type declaration and then specifically here we have the type whereas you can also see like specifically we have the keyword uh, in this instance it's caught as an aspect, which is totally not correct, so I will need to fix that. Uh, this will be a relatively easy fix, though. Uh, you can also see things like how the aspects are correctly identified, and even how, like, within a procedure, you can see the names marked, the... Uh, the arguments are marked, and each specific argument has the variable marked, the type marked, and the various access keywords. Or, uh, accessibility keywords. So, this is much closer to the quality I would expect out of a what you would describe a finished product. Now, like I said, I'm not there yet, but this is good enough that I am releasing this as a, uh, a beta. Now, there is another example I wanted to bring up of something not quite working right, but that I will... Uh, w very. This will be a very easy fix. Um, I think this file actually has it. Yeah. You can see there are some other things that haven't been done, like this could easily be marked as a variable, but isn't. And also that with the with the parameters, the only the first or the last one, the uh, closest to the uh, type annotation, the, the, the colon, is correctly highlighted. Anything before that is not. Uh, so I need to make a chain through that entire thing. That, again, is a very easy fix. Um, there are some other small considerations you may have noticed, like with these Itacore-style comment blocks that are usually used to either delimit sections of code or... Uh, With the Adicore stuff specifically, they're often put before each uh, function or procedure. Now, sometimes before each type as well. There is specific highlighting for those, as you can see. Uh, they are marked as a comment block. And it does cascade through the entire thing. Like, this is recognized as one comment block. But it also looks inside the comment block for something like this. Uh, the actual, you know, content of the block and labels it a, a section name. So if you were to, for instance, change the theme out, not all of these support. So red does. Um, you can see not all of these actually support it. They, they each color theme has different different things that it does well, but uh... oh, there seems to be something wrong with my theme. Okay, 
Um, but yeah, you can uh, you can definitely you can definitely see the quality of this already. Uh, now I will have links down in the video description for uh, both the location on the VS Code Marketplace and the repositories up on GitHub. Um, if you notice any problems with these, uh, please report the problems. File a bug report either on uh, the VS Code Marketplace or on GitHub. I will get around to fixing them.